We have all the time in the world, time enough for life, to unfold all the precious things love has in store. We have all the love in the world. If that's all we have, you will find we need nothing more. Every step of the way will find us with the cares of the world far behind us. We have all the time in the world, just for love, nothing more, nothing less, only love. That day, we first met in the park. We must have walked for about an hour and a half. We must have looked at the same uh, bench tw- 20 times and we kind of got fed up. But uh, just now, honestly, the first day I met you, I was just amazed about about th- the certain things we, we shared, having interest in film, TV, music and whatnot. I know this sounds really corny for everyone, but uh, the first time, that after that date, um, we... Okay, we... We had a wee, we had a wee kiss, Willie and Kate. A wee kiss, and Mammy. A wee kiss. A wee kiss. A wee peck in the cheek. Our great, our great grandfather Patrick never moved from Creeskett to Melton, and he came to work in Kelly's Mills, which is situated in Drummond Wood. But then, two and a half years ago, Peter took Didi for a stroll through Drummond Wood. <laughs> Tell you a wee bit about that. I was so nervous that day. I uh, I started washing every window. I think in the house there. The day I was about to ask you to be my wife was the definitely the most nervous moment of my life. But uh, thankfully, you said yes. I'd like to first uh, start off and just say, Didi, yeah, you look absolutely stunning today. I still remember the day Peter told me when he met you. I was some day. No, no, in, in a good way, like. We, we've, we've, all, we've all seen Peter when he gets excited. <laughs> he was literally bursting with happiness and joy. And I, I remember looking at Peter and I was like, I think he's actually met a person. And like, you're, you're also an outgoing person, but like, I knew he, he met someone special. Because halfway through the woods, Peter got down one knee and proposed to Davy. And that, folks, is the reason we're here today, so well done to both of them. <laughs> Next up is my wife, Deirdre, Didi Milani, Didi Milani, yes. I, I've never seen anyone as beautiful today as coming up the aisle. Uh, I, I just couldn't hold back the tears today. It was just inedible. Uh, seeing you up the altar, I just knew <laughs> the luckiest man in the world. In, in Donegal, but definitely the world today. <laughs> Mommy, Peter and myself have always had a close bond growing up. Growing up as kids, Mommy always referred to us as the Three Musketeers. We went from being the Three Musketeers to today becoming the Four Musketeers. (laughs) With Dee Dee becoming the fourth member, and I couldn't ask for a better member to be part of our close circle. People that know Didi, all our friends and cl- family and close knit uh, community, you're definitely the most, you're the, the kindest, most thoughtful, exciting person I've ever met. You're so nice to people. You do anything for anyone. I don't know how you tolerate me at times, <laughs> but I, I'm going to make it easier now with married life. And, uh, and she wants, she wants that in writing the contract here. At this point, Peter, I'd like to welcome yourself into the family. It's like a new signing, a great member, a, a good new member of the team. Peter's most of you know is a fine young man, and for those of you who have met him, he's a very friendly, honest, hard-working, good guy, very dedicated to his work and to his family, and a great man to have on board, so you're very welcome, Peter. I look forward to seeing uh, where your life takes you and both your journeys, because I, I think it's going to be a pretty good one. Didi, just keep him calm. <laughs> Finally, I would like to ask everyone to be upstanding and raise a toast to the new Mrs. Milani Didi Dibber. Yeah.